Hello learners, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing fabulous. And this video is all about user interface in Revit software. These are the basic things that you should know when you get started with Revit. I will be posting two or three videos on this topic because if I make this in a single video, it will become a little bit lengthy. So if you guys want to see the second part of this video, please subscribe to this channel and click on this notification bell icon. And I will be posting the second video soon. So before getting started, let me tell you what I think about learning Revit. In my opinion, learning Revit is not a big, tough or difficult task. It all depends on you, like how well you are trying and how well you are practicing. And I selected electronics and communication engineering for, for my graduation. And I didn't even know what is AutoCAD back then but now i am doing my projects in revit like mep designing architecture and everything in revit so you just need to have this patience and passion for this field and keep on practicing find a mentor if you can or just follow or watch videos in youtube and if possible start with a basic tutorial like beginners level tutorial and practice along Keep on practicing and try solving the issues you find in Revit by yourself and like try the options you have in Revit. So that's how you learn Revit. That's how I learned Revit. So, okay. So I will be adding a screenshot of the project screen in the with all the elements marked in the first part of the video. So please take a note of it and it will be easier for you if you do that. Okay. Okay, now let's start with the user interface and let's talk about the application menu first. Okay, so this is called application menu and when you click on it, you have these options over here, new, open, save, save as export, print, close, etc, etc. This is for creating new project, new family, new title block new annotation symbol like that and this is for opening the previous projects this is to save this is to save as a project or a template like that this, this what this option is for exporting this is for printing this is close and these are the options and in these options you can change the settings of this revit like general you have many options over here and i will be talking some options you have in here in this uh, video or the second part of the video and you have many options under graphics hide hardware file locations etc etc so this is the application menu of the revit software and let's talk about the tabs and panels and ribbons now okay so you can see this architecture, structure, steel, systems, insert, annotate, analyze, massing and site, etc. over here. And this is called tabs. So we have architecture tab, structure tab, steel tab, systems tab, insert tab, etc. And then we have this uh, build, circulation, model, room and area, opening, etc. etc. over here. And these are called panels. So we have build panel, circulation panel, model panel, opening panel, etc. And these, see these in each panel, these components in each panel are called ribbons. And these are the ribbons. And we have same thing over here for the structure tab. Like we have structure panel and we have these ribbons. And then we have connection panel and this ribbon, foundation panel, these ribbons, etc. etc. So these are the tabs. Okay, exit. And these are the ribbons, and these are called panels. Okay, and you can see this uh, arrow mark pointing towards the right bottom corner that's called dialogue launcher arrow and the dialogue launcher 
contains all the settings related to the particular panel so when you right click on it you get a menu you get a menu over here and these are the settings related to that panel okay and and you can see another arrow mark here and that means that they have this panel have an expanded panel and this expanded panel contains all the related tools and controls okay so this one have an expanded panel this this reinforcement panel has an expanded panel which contains all the tools and controls related to the reinforcement panel okay so that's about the dialog launcher and expanded panel so now you know what are what is application menu tabs panels expanded panel dialog launcher and ribbons now okay now let's talk about quick access toolbar okay so this uh, this area over here is called quick access toolbar and this is uh, for quick access as the name suggests and uh, we can add but uh, tools we want to this area to do that you just have to click on the that particular tool left click okay left click on that particular tool and then select add to quick access toolbar and that's how you add a particular tool to the quick access toolbar and you have you can also customize the quick access toolbar to do that just click on this arrow mark and then go down and you have the option here customize quick access toolbar just click on it and do whatever you want like if you want to move this particular tool upwards or downwards do that and if you want to put a selector in between them just click on this and if you want to remove a particular tool then click on this remove option so that's how you customize the quick access toolbar now let's talk about another option we have in quick access toolbar you can move this quick access toolbar below the ribbons to do that just click on this and then select show below the ribbon now you have the quick access toolbar down the ribbon so that's how you move the quick access toolbar okay so that's all about quick access toolbar now and then let's draw four walls over here and then press escape a couple of times okay and i'm going to select an element like this wall or this you can select any element in the drawing area and okay i'm going to select this wall and you can see this tab over here modify walls and this is called contextual tab and this contextual tab consists of the uh, tools and controls related to this element you selected okay and this contextual tab closes automatically when you exit from the element like you exit from the element by by pressing the escape button and i'm going to press the escape button now so we exit from we exited from the element and the contextual tab closed automatically so now i'm going to select an element again before that i'm going to this architecture tab and then i'm selecting this wall over here now we are on the contextual tab and when i'm pressing and i'm going to press the escape button okay we are still on the modified tab not the contextual tab but on the modified tab so if you want to go back to the architecture tab like previous tab before uh, after exiting from an element you can customize that from the application menu so to do that you go to this application menu and just click on this options and then go to the user interface and we have this uh, ribbon tab switching behavior and select when if you select return to the previous tab what will happen is that after exiting from the element it will go back to the previous tab else it will stay on the modified tab and i'm going to press ok now 
and we are on the architecture tab now and then i'm going to press this element we are on the contextual tab now and i'm pressing the escape button and we are back to the architecture tab now before we are on the in previous case we are on we were on the modify tab okay so that's about contextual tab so that's all for now if you guys find this video useful please like and share this video and subscribe to my channel and if you have any suggestions please let me know in the comment section and let's meet in the second part of this tutorial bye take care